what happened? Like what happened here a little over a month ago? I think it's a month and a half at this point. Yep. <sighs> this is this is good stuff. You know, I want to start off by saying uh, none of what happened was easy on anybody. Uh, but I do think that what happened was a good thing long term. So for myself, I'm going to speak for myself. And if Tishan wants to add anything for himself, he can do so. It, it was a hard decision. But the truth is, have you guys ever had something that you didn't want to do and then something else occurred and it, it kind of made the decision for you and actually got you to where you needed to go in the first place? What I mean by that is months ago, like back probably closer to March, April, I had started praying and thinking and, and <sighs> leaning towards, I, I thought that the season was coming to an end for me with CryptoGem. No hate, no animosity. I just felt like it was getting to a point where I was like, I don't know if this is where I'm going to be long term. It might be time for me to split and do something else. I had a job opportunity at the time. I ended up turning down. But I think at this point, what it really was is, again, what I, what I say that have you ever not wanted to make a decision that something is made for you? It probably would have been the right decision to leave at that time. I stayed. I I, I loved the team. I loved Jeb, T. Shroom, Smay. I loved every person we worked with. I loved you guys, the community that are over there with Crypto Jeb. That's what kept me around. And I'm, I'm, I think there's a lot of blessings that happen for it. But ever since March, April, I have been, I had been considering leaving anyway. Um, and, and there were moments where it got really close to making a decision. But, you know, I can't remember the exact month. But when Jeb announced, you know, he, with all his health issues, you guys just watched that. Uh, with stuff happening with his family, um, when he realized that he might need to take a leave of absence and asked me, hey, Tim, can you continue this? Can you do this for me? That, that to me was like, okay, you know, there's a route here. Maybe, you know, maybe I'll stay and do this and really stay with the community. Uh, I have my vision on how things go. Uh, I, I can do this. I want to support Jeb. I want to support the team. I want to support you guys, the community. So I ended up staying. Um, not necessarily because I felt like that's what I really should have done. Like, if, if I'm being honest with myself, I think in, in my prayer life, I probably wasn't really, really, really listening to God as much as I was doing what I felt like doing. And it was really painful to leave. But the decision kind of got made for me. Jeb, Jeb came back and he talked to his leadership team and, and he said that he wanted to come back. He was ready to come back. Um, and, and it just felt right. It just felt right. I took a vacation afterwards when he announced that and said, you know, this is, let me think about this. Went on a trip. Got to pray about it even more. And like I said, it was like one of those things that I probably should have done this a long time ago, but I'd had cold feet. Um, you know, just so you guys know, my wife and I found out here a couple months ago, my, we're expecting. So we we are going to be having a baby in May. And anyone who knows us knows. Congrats. Um, in the same, you know, one of the reasons I, I, my heart just is so broken for things that have happened to Jeb and his wife. They had multiple miscarriages. My wife and I have had multiple miscarriages. Um, so this is, it was really big news when I found that out and even more so it was like, I got to start making decisions to provide for my family. Um, I don't have, in, I didn't have insurance at the time. Uh, my wife didn't have insurance at the time. Having a baby is a big deal. You know, it's grown up life. You got to start thinking about a lot of details. So it was one of those things I was like, man, do I stay with my community and do I stay with this team or do I start making decisions with my, for my family? And the decision kind of got made for me. It was a perfect opportunity. Jeb's coming back. He can carry the community. He can do his thing. I can leave and find another job and, and get the support. By the way, I have another job, but that's you know why it shows early in the morning and not in the middle of the day. Someone asked earlier, are we going to be going live here at 1.30 or 12.30 or when Jerome Powell talks? No, because we have other jobs. We've got to do both uh, T-Shirt and myself. But it was a perfect opportunity because I knew you guys would be in good hands with Jeb. I'm, I'm so excited to see Jeb back on camera. That's where Jeb belongs. Like ever since I've known Jeb, he just lights up on camera for you guys. He talks about crypto so well. He's such a smart guy. I'm so glad for him, for, for the team that he has there. They're going to do great things. It was just time for me to go ahead and move on. And the only reason why I have this channel here is because the phenomenal job that God blessed me with it, it gives me freedom to be able to do a morning show and T-Shroom's job as well. And uh, so we're going to be doing morning stuff, maybe some time, time shooting some evening stuff. Uh, but we do have other full-time jobs that are paying the bills for us and keeping it going. But I just loved you guys so much. And that was part of this process too, is praying, hey, what's the next job for me? And also, is there any way for me to stay in the community? Because I love crypto. I love you guys. And, and God is just so good because he blessed me to be able to walk away, 
to have a job to provide for my family and at the same time still try to build something. Uh, and so that is what happened. Uh, love you guys. We love Jeb. If Jeb's still watching, love you. Maybe in the future we'll be able to collapse them and get Jeb on this channel. We'll go on Coffee and Crypto or uh, back to Crypto Jeb. Would love to do that. 